Hi, I'm Frank Dolan of All for Sports and Fitness, and today I'm here with Todd Gates of MCOR FTS, and we're playing around with some workouts. I want to show one of my favorite workouts that we use in our group training program here at All for Sports and Fitness. The number one exercise um, that we like to do with, the, with this bench is the single leg squat to bench. Uh, the advantage with this MCOR bench is that we can adjust it up and down without having to use different pads and levels for people. So if I start on a single leg and I'm working on balancing and sitting my hips back and touching, sometimes it's really difficult for beginners to get down that low. So what we can do with the MCOR bench is easily lift up the height by adjusting here and lifting up. Now I have a little bit of a higher bench for someone to sit to and it takes away from us having to move different pads around and get people up on, in those positions. So that's our first exercise in the circuit. We would do some type of single leg squat to bench. And we would go to say a one arm, one legged row where we take a dumbbell. What I like about this is that it gives people a station, especially when you're working with young athletes and beginner exercises. Sometimes they don't really know where to go. So with, with groups in our, like say group training or our fitness boot camp, we have a space for them to actually do the exercise. So we'll start with this on a single leg, slight knee bend. Our opposite side hand is gonna be planted on the bench and we grip our dumbbell down below, pushing the opposite leg all the way back as far as we can. From there, we're gonna use our shoulder blade first and then lift pulling the elbow past the ribs. So that's our one arm, one legged row. So from there, after we go from our single leg squat to our one arm, one leg row, we have a, a hip and leg push exercise paired with a upper body pulling exercise. Then we would go to a one leg glute bridge. Again, I can use the bench in this, in this way by adjusting the seat on it on an angle. Then from there, we can loosen up and drop down so we're at the height that we need to do some type of glute bridge off of the bench. So from there, I'll lay flat on my back. Toes to shins with the top leg. This opposite leg is just gonna be hanging out off to the side. And from there, I'm gonna push through my heel to lift up and extend and get a straight line from my knee to my hip to my shoulder. I'm dropping my butt back down. Right before it's about to touch the floor, I push straight back up and through. All the way down, straight back up and through. So now I'm pairing our upper body pull, a lower body single leg squat, to a lower body hip and leg push exercise. Our final exercise for the circuit would be an alternating dumbbell press. Again, adjusting the bench easily back to its flat position. I'm gonna adjust the height slightly to make sure it's high enough for me to get a, a good body position. Okay, so for our fourth and final exercise of the circuit, we have an alternating bench press. What I like about the M core bench is that I'm not completely stabilized. My legs and my glutes and um, my quads a little bit, my core have to work to keep myself in a good solid position to do the exercise. So from there, I'm gonna lay flat on my back scoot out, so I'm pushing through my hips to lift my butt up off the ground, and from there, I'm gonna start with both arms overhead and drop one at a time. Opposite arm up here is gonna be stabilizing as much as possible, pushing up and through. I'm down slow, stabilizing the up arm and back up. Stabilizing up arm and back up. It's a very simple circuit that you can do for uh, total body function. Just basically going through your leg lowering on a single leg, and going from there to a, a single arm row, to a some type of hip and leg push exercise, which is the glute bridge, and then to finish with an alternating dumbbell press.